Thursday, March 1st, worlds will collide. The Scandal How to Get Away with Murder TGIT Crossover Event, Thursday, March 1st on ABC. When I first heard of this crossover, I couldn't even contain my excitement. I was throwing tables all around me. Scandal and How to Get Away with Murder are part of Shondaland, a production company created by Shonda Grimes. For those who don't know, Scandal is a political crime drama starring Kerry Washington, and How to Get Away with Murder is a legal crime drama starring Viola Davis. This crossover has that unique question of, who are two characters from the same universe who you want to see interact? My answer was definitely Olivia Pope and Annalise Keating. The story plot of the crossover is Olivia and Annalise joining forces for a class action shoot that makes its way to the Supreme Court. During this time, Olivia and Annalise butt heads but grow to respect each other in the end. My thoughts on the crossover were overall positive. Watching the two characters interact made my, my fangirl dreams come true. I think what was great about Olivia and Annalise's dynamic was that there are two alphas working together and butting heads is going to be unavoidable. I think this is best shown in the hairdresser scene. In this scene, Annalise and Olivia are getting their hair done when news breaks that Olivia left the White House on bad terms, making Annalise distrustful of Olivia. Annalise also makes it a point to Olivia that they are the same. They both are hot messes with their own shit going on, trying to put a fierce face to hide their insecurities. The theme of trust in the crossover is being tossed from person to person and the only person that trusts Olivia is Fitz. Everyone else is basically done with her because of all the things she's done, which includes killing Rashad, lying to Melly about it, and not saving Quinn from her own father. So Olivia has made enemies of people that used to hang on to her every word. Using trust in a positive manner, Fitz persuades Olivia to help Annalise in getting this class action suit in front of the Supreme Court. Even after what they have been through, Fitz still trusts Olivia and trusts that she will do the right thing. When it comes to trust, Olivia couldn't trust Annalise to be in front of the Supreme Court because of her accusations of murder. For other characters in the crossover, Melly, Jake, and Quinn are all distrustful of Olivia's role in Annalise's suit. They all think the only reason why she's helping Annalise is to gain back political standing in Washington, D.C. after she leaves the White House. Another aspect of the trust theme is on Annalise. Before she gets up on court, she gets a call from Jacqueline letting her know that Isaac OD'd and she tells her that she's not a good person and everything is her fault. From that point, Annalise starts second guessing herself and gets her own head thinking she can't defend these clients. In this moment, she feels like she needs a drink, but Olivia gives her the push to get up and walk herself into that courtroom. When it comes to redemption, Olivia feels like she is past it, she is past redemption and just wants to move on, but Fitz gives her that extra push of for what's doing what's right. Annalise is also on the road of redemption with the Supreme Court case and getting her right state of mind back to fight the good fight. This crossover asks the question, do they deserve it? I think it's up to the audience to decide. Personally, I think both their journeys started in the same but circumstances drift them away from their goal, justice. Now that both shows have ended, I think Annalise and Olivia ended in places where they should be. Olivia with Fitz and Annalise leaving, living her fullest life as her true self. Here are some of my favorite moments. Intro scene for Olivia to mirror Annalise's intro scene from the first episode of How to Get Away with Murder. Perfect. A failure to plan. Crisis management isn't about planning, it's about action, snap decisions in the moment. An ineffective communication strategy. Telling the truth. <laughs> People think we lie for a living, but in fact, the truth is often our greatest weapon. Anyone else? Not knowing they're in a crisis. Very good. The hairdresser scene where they pretty much go at each other's throats and they're like trying to one-up each other. And most of your life in a boarding school, Ivy League universities with a horse between your legs and a silver spoon in your mouth. You're not the only one who knows how to Google. You call me a hot mess, remember? But it sounds to me that despite all your failed attempts to stand above me on your little pedestal, we're the same. So keep it real, Olivia Pope. Why'd you leave the White House? You know your skin tone and measurements aren't the reason people don't like you. It's you, Annalise Keating. You are a bully who insults people and then wonders why they won't help you. But hey, you're just trying to keep it real, right? How's that working out for you? Can't be that great if you had to haul your broke ass on the megabus to beg for my help. 
You may think you know who I am and what I'm about, but don't get it twisted. We are not the same. And Annalise's Supreme Court speech. Chills. As an arbiter of the law with whole knowledge of historical jurisprudence in this country, race must always be considered a variable. You have precious time, Miss Keating. I suggest that you don't waste it by making arguments you've already made. These are not my words, Justice Strickland. They're yours. You wrote them in your 1985 ruling in Bryant v. Topeka, an equal protection case dealing with a state housing lottery program. In my personal opinion, the most character development in the crossover goes to Olivia. Annalise does have her own character development in the beginning of season 4, which is duly noted, but in the past couple episodes of Scandal, Olivia has gone to the dark side. She's done stuff that makes the people think she cannot come back from it. From that, in reality, Olivia needs Annalise more than she realizes. From this event, it makes Olivia think about that white hat again, and as an audience member, I love to see that. Olivia Pope and Annalise Keating were characters on TV that showcase different black women in hard fields that they can too be complex, driven, vulnerable, and real people. They inspire me as a black woman myself to write black women as full people and don't be afraid to push the boundaries with their storytelling. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go rewatch Scandal now.